Okay, well the first thing you do is take your pairs of your wires, each circuit, and then you number them, okay? And I put a piece of tape just to hold them together so I know which neutral goes with which circuit. Now, maybe your other ones. Let's say you've got two circuits um, and you're sharing a neutral. You label the neutral and then both those wires. Now, again, these, wire, these are just the wires I had in my garage. Don't bitch at me because oh, I'm integrating two different systems. Irrelevant. But when you do have two circuits and one neutral that you're sharing, you have to use a two-pole breaker. That's those 220 breakers or what have you. Same uh, amperage of breaker, but you use a two-pole. So if one circuit trips, they trip both together. Okay, and so that's how you get these prepped. Leave it out a little bit from the end of, end of the wire. You leave your tape. So this is where we're gonna have everything in place. We put both our circuits together, all of our circuits together, and we're gonna make up the head we're gonna make up the head for the wire pull next, okay? All right. What we do next is get our two pairs. Here's our ground. We're gonna leave it about six, eight inches further than the other two sets, okay? I'll explain why in a minute. So we have one set here, and what we're gonna do is stagger the other set back. So it, uh, it tapers down into the pipe, all right? So we do that, and we're just gonna simply just wrap our tape all the way around all the way up to the end. You see that? Nice and smooth transition. I left my little roll on tape on there and left my ground hanging out. The reason for the ground hanging out, that's gonna be our eye for our fish tape or to push it. Smash that down so we got a nice smooth transition for the head. Okay? And then it doesn't look smooth, but it will be when you're done, right? So you take it and we just Wrap this around, our tape around and around, till we get, we leave ourselves a nice little head there. And pull that off, snap the tape, and twist that. That is called a buddy tab. That's for your buttery on the, buddy, not your buttery buttery, buttery buddy. Now that's up to you if you wanna butter up your buddy. I do that, they start thinking things about me. Not that they shouldn't, anyway. But uh, that's on the end, so, at the end, when he pulls it off, it's nice and easy. He has a tab and he undoes it and he thanks you. He buys you beer. You guys have tacos. Uh, you talk about your ex-wife and how rotten your kids are. So that's what the buddy tab's for, okay? Now, sometimes, if there's a lot of pressure, I work by myself. I have pulled, pushed these wires just like this. I've pushed them hundreds of feet. There is a technique to it. Just go nice and smooth and nice and easy. And um, sometimes you make it to the box and sometimes you don't. Because this gets real rigid. With, with pulling, pushing all these wires through that pipe, it's very rigid. You'd be surprised. Because the conduit uh, doesn't leave a lot of room around that wire. So it has nowhere to fold. So, uh, but or if you put a fish tape on it and there's a lot of wires and a lot of pressure, sometimes this eye pulls out. Now, there's different ways to protect against that. I'm showing you an easy way if you do it like this and it pulls out. There's other ways you can do to pre prevent that eye from pulling out. Sometimes it breaks. So I'm gonna show you a quick little hack and what you do if the fish tape comes off or it doesn't, if you pushed it and it didn't quite get uh, inside the box. Right here, the conduit coming in and you, 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 you could hear it coming around. You could feel that the pipe feels a little heavier and it gets stuck. Well, I'll show you how to get that the rest of the way. Nice little hack. Okay. Okay, now we're in a dilemma. We're on the job and what do you know, the fish tape popped off of it. Doggone it, what do I do? You say to yourself, what to do, what to do? And you think, that Lenny guy, starving electrician, he knows what he's doing. And by the way, you can call me, starvingelectrician.com, live electrician, we can do a Zoom conference, or you can call me on the phone, and then I can walk you through projects, um, any dilemmas you might have, or pre-construction, what have you, you can give me a call, new thing that I've got going. So anyways, so what we do, we have our, just grab a piece of our stranded wire, We'll bend it back. We don't have to worry about the size of the head on this one, okay? And then we push that out like that. Why? We want this to tangle inside of that pipe. And then we push it in until we could feel it hit the uh, wires that are in there. I don't care that it's too big. I push it in, push it in, until I can feel it. It's like, oh, all right, I grab the hold of it. I feel it, and I want to push past that wire. 
Still, I'm barely getting past it. That's good. Getting past, I'm getting past. It's not moving. Great. So here's the next step what we do. Well, we grab our trusty little uh, handy dandy uh, lithium ion whatever. We grab our little battery operated drill and we get it on the end of that, uh, that wire that we stuck in there and simply and push in as you're going. Push in as you're going. I'm sorry about that. And then, I mean, it, it may not get it the first time, may not get it the first few times, but sometimes it does. And then you simply pull it out. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I got well, it. Well, we started to knot up with our wire. That's a good sign. That means it's just not flopping around in the pipe that we're onto something. So I think we got a fish on. So take our screw gun off because it's simply in the way. Bear with me. All right. Duck out. <laughs> Look at that. I just had to set that down. Um, all right, let's see. Somebody's on the other end. It's nice. They could be pushing it while you're pulling it, but if you work by yourself like me, ah, I feel it. Ah, look at that. Wrap right around there. All right, looks like I was about a foot into it a little bit. But that's the way, just that little trick of sending a wire in there to wrap around your other wires and you can pull it out. Again, there's a lot of other ways people say, why don't you shove a fish tape down there? Can't twirl a fish tape in there. And if that fish tape binds up inside the pipe, you'll never get it out. You'll be pulling it back the other way. That's why I don't like using a fish tape. I, I will, don't get me wrong. If it were a bigger pipe, <clears throat> I'd use it, but this is a half inch pipe. There's not enough room with all that wire and that fish tape. And sometimes you get lucky, you push it down, you pull it up and it hangs up on the end of that wire or the end of the tape rather, and it pulls, you get lucky. 